Look what I woke up cleaning the beds. Hi, bud. Welcome back to Mulberry Branch Farm. It's Ashley with you, and today we're out in the barn and we've got a project. So you were with me when we had our goat maintenance day and I had big dreams of milking does and then realized I wormed with chemical dewormers and that because of the residues that it would leave in their milk, might as well just wait another week. So it's almost been a week and we need to figure out a way to separate our kids from the does at night to where it's not stressful for them and it doesn't give them a bad taste in the mouth when I'm grabbing them and putting them in a pen. Um, so we're kind of constructing a weaning pen, if you will, to where they'll come in at night to feed, we close the door behind them, bring does into milk in the morning, and then let them back out with their mommies after we're done. So that's what we're doing today, guys. Um, and we are repurposing a lot of extra wood, um, old hinges or anything like that that we have laying around. I don't think we're going to end up buying anything new to do this project, which is nice. And who doesn't want to get rid of some junk around their barn every now and then when they have the chance to reuse it? awful to come home to a bloody mess so you can see we've just got a door that will put the hinges up here at the top so that it'll flip up and I'll have a hook or something that that we'll go over later but um, he's got this so that it fits in there perfectly we're gonna put hinges right here and you can see right here on the out I don't know the light is probably terrible for you guys so we've got this right here and we're going to go on the outside and cut it over so that there's no metal um, exposed at all. So if they even do rub on it a little bit, they'll rub the wood and that's less likely to cut them. The top part here, we're going to flip it up um, so that they can't cut themselves on that either. But I think this is going to work good. I don't think this is going to allow any grown does to come in and it'll be just enough for babies that are weaning to come in here at night time for their food and I think it's just a good practice anyways because the does at this age are a little rough at feeding time and the babies like grain too because they see mommy eating grain all the time and a lot of the does don't really look to see what's under them who's in the bowl who are they pushing out who are they squishing up against a wall so um, I think it would just be better that they come in here and basically have like a creep feed all night long and it'll be good too because our weather is back there with Tootsie, which you can see June's investigating right now. But yeah, guys, I'll bring you back once we're done and we'll be able to show you how this works. And you know what that means after this, guys? New routines, new feed portions, waking up really early in the morning every day until September when we have little appraisal. I like my sleep. I'm an eight hour person, guys. So I'll bring you back when we're done with this. need to have a little handle. Mm -hmm. I have a handle. Hmm? I have a handle. Um, mm -hmm. Out here. Hey, you know what'll work really good for that? Come on. What's this? You get like a little doorknob. Yeah, you can tie off of it. Yeah, you can tie off of it too. What, like her about here? Too? Yeah, I think so because then what I'll probably do is just like, like a, a hook mm -hmm. higher like with twine tied up that I can just... What do you guys think they're in line for? Line. It's finished. We got my door done for the weeding pit. So my husband is awesome. He always, whenever I give him a project, the guy just is amazing. He knows 
the best designs and kind of thinks through things a little bit more than I do because I am a little bit sporadic and a little impulsive and he's well thought out and calm, which is why we balance each other out perfectly. But there it is guys. So this is my winning door. It opens up into my main pen. And before I show you this guys, just keep in mind that twine is the homesteader's duct tape and I have a lot of it. So I use a lot of it. Don't judge me. <laughs> so we have our door here and you'll see we've got this little ring kind of as like a handle, but to keep the kids from pushing this in or out, we've got a drop pin that as long as I go up there and hold it, comes up just like that. And you guys can see here on twine, I've got this little snap, 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 snap. So I will, if I can hold my camera and show you guys, since I'm, I am solo filming today, which I usually solo film, anybody knows me. And there we go. Ha ha. Wonderful. My twine holds it up. They can come in. Um, I'm hoping this opening is not big enough for juveniles or adults to come into. So, fingers crossed. We had Pinky actually is out today moving around because she still hasn't had the babies, guys. She's still holding the hostages. So, she tried to come in through this and her unborn children told her, no, mama uses too wide. So, she tried to come through, couldn't because she's pregnant, but she's one of our smaller does. So, I'm thinking like my more stout does like Belle. This girl ain't coming in through there. So, there you go, you guys see. Just unclip it, let her go down, Ooh. and then we'll just drop the pin. There you go. Oops. That makes it predator secure too. So if we ever have a coyote that just can push us open like a doggy door, as long as that's down there and secure, they can't do it. So the, the whole plan for this, guys, is I've got my weaning area in here. It's my wonderful Seidel panels, and you see, I've tried to make it fun. <laughs> I've tried to make it fun for the kids so they actually want to come in here because, I mean, food can only go so far. Even though foods are, or goats are very food driven, you know, it can only go so far. So we've got our slide, hide and seek, in the bed. And guys, they do love to file up in there. So the idea for this is that it, um, in the nighttime when I go to feed my does, I'll open this door up here and the kids will know to come in. The door should, should be too small for my adult does to come in. They come in here, they eat, eat. I drop the door behind them, feed the mommies. Then the mommies are separated from the kids until the morning time when I'll be milking, which means you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of milking videos here soon. And I'm sorry because in the morning, I'm not as glamorous as I am right now. <laughs> so I probably will try to start milking tomorrow morning, which is Monday. It's not quite been eight days, so, which is, is okay. We'll be dumping that milk anyways because the residues that are in the milk from the dewormers aren't good for us to ingest, and I'm definitely not gonna use it for soap because, guys, our skin is porous. So it's going to soak in any of those dewormer residues anyways. So I think it's a really good time for them to learn to get on the stand for the first time fresheners. This is all new to them so I expect there'll be a lot of hooves in the milk <laughs> so and I won't be able to use it anyway without with um, the residue being in it so I just think it's a really good opportunity but I'm gonna apologize ahead of time for that video because I'm gonna look really tired and my voice is gonna be really scratchy and um, you're gonna see another circus because I'm sure I'm gonna get kicked and stomped and they're gonna do a dance and put feet in milk so I hope you guys are in for some entertainment with that. But you know what? For today, that's going to do it, guys. I'm going to show a clip here at the end. Um, getting the kids in here. It could be interesting. So stick around for that. But before we go ahead and send you off to watch our circus, if you guys found yourself enjoying this video at any time, please drop us a like, leave us a comment, and subscribe. We love our new subscribers. We love talking to you guys in our comments. Um, so I guess until next time, guys. Thanks. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.